Hello, Pirates on One. Um, Fearless Sean uh, back again doing uh, Privateer One versus One. And I am versus Dante. And Dante is a player who I have seen him in Avery Realm in a Brawn Call or Spar Chamber for I don't even know how long. I mean, back, way back before I stopped playing. Um, and I've, he's been a very good privateer, and, you know, I've known him for a long time, because he's never been, like, a big clan player from what I've seen or anything like that. Um, but I definitely know he was a very solid privateer, and I think he definitely has the advantage over me. Um, because this is still only my, uh, second or third time using my privateer since coming back. But, we'll see how it goes. At least this time it is the same team. So at least there isn't, you know, that disadvantage. Unfortunately, he does go first, which means he gets to use the first bomb, which is always a pretty decent advantage, actually, for your pirate here. And he's doing that formation to avoid any other bombs. Just uh, smart. Unfortunately, I'm behind this pillar, which means I have to move to be able to get in ghost well range. So I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, shoot. Well, don't really want to move her all the way over here, but there, there. And there. I really feel like I'm moving my Bonnie um, nervously close to Grondo, <laughs> but Hopefully it'll be fine. Either way, at least I sp spare my companions out. But still, that does make me a little bit nervous. I do have my sprocket key on, right? Oh, I know I'd have to because... Yeah, I know I don't remember moving it, so... Let me look at his gear real quick. Hmm. Oh, no! That's what I forgot. Shoot, I forgot to, um, I mean, of course I still have the weak pet that I need to change, but also I forgot to change my boots, I need to put that on instead of the fortress. But also, he does have several gear advantages, better pet, better boots, uh, and he has this extra attack, which is, um, interesting. I probably should consider taking attack myself, but, I don't know. Um, and also, one th thing is that's in my opinion, the most underrated, but one of the most broken items for one versus one, or most effective items, is that patch of his. Anytime he gets hit when he's below 50 health, he gets a big, he gets the chibu thing, which gives him an attack and heal, and it is just so effective um, in one versus ones, and really any battles, but most of all one versus ones, I've seen it win one versus ones, literally just win it because of that single item several times for many different classes. It works best for melee versus melee when it goes down to character versus character, but still, I mean, it works for privateers, it works for every class extremely well. And it's um, always been, of course, one of the top items that I would love to have, but items I'm never going to get <laughs> because of uh, not enough grounds, but um, definitely a very strong item. So yeah, he definitely does have pretty much, um, we do have the same team, so that's a tie at least, but he does have the experience advantage and the gear advantage. And looks like he's, oh, he's gonna go and send Garando in. Oh, and I most likely won't purge up, gosh dang it. This is bad. This is really bad. Come on. You gotta be kidding me, Garando, really? <sighs> really? Oh, stupid Garando. Mm. Yeah, this is already looking horrible. Oh my gosh. Dang, I have to get rid of all of this. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. I 
I really hope Purge comes up next turn. I deleted a whole bunch of stuff, so most likely it will be. But I definitely don't want to lose this one versus one just off of not having my powers show up. That would definitely be unfortunate. Plus, I mean, I really need to start winning some more one versus ones. I mean, I know in ranked, of course, I only you know won all of them. Uh, besides one, uh, just because the level of competition was lower, and I was on a squash bug way. But still, I mean, I rarely ever lost power tier versus power tier one versus ones, or really any kind of class versus class one versus ones. Um, but especially on private tier, in which doctor and musketeer. Um, and I've lost like two already, or no, I think I'm trying to think. Um, I know I lost two, um, on this day, it's private tier. I'm trying to think, I oh, yeah, I lost two, um, um, Oliver's. Yes, that match was interesting. Um, I definitely don't lose three in a row, though. I mean, that'll be ugh, but it looks like that's very likely as of right now. He's gonna send everything on ground, though. Purge, better show up is all I know. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Let's see. He might have kept Garana just now of Purge range here. So now he kind of leaves me with a decision. Hmm. Let's see. I'm pretty sure he... I mean, I'm not 100% sure he'd have to be out of Purge range. Let's see. Well, no. No, no. Let's see. One, two, three. <laughs> well, he's not out of purge range, but I don't have purge up, so that's very effective, isn't it? Um, uh, this is really bad. <laughs> this really is. Um, I don't know, the best I can do is just do this and I mean realistically it's it's good game I mean even at best if I purge Grondo is still gonna die and yeah it might as well go ahead and be a good game realistically I mean I can try and move him back but Oh, oops, I did not know she was in that Bonnie's range. I also would have attacked, but well. Uh, unless Purge shows up next round, it is for sure a good game. I mean, but right now, the way that his team's set up and the way it's looking, uh, it's definitely looking bad because. Yeah. It is good, but the, the, my Bonnie did do good there. I mean, my Grano, along with the Bonnie attack, can probably just kill that Bonnie uh, next turn, unless she got a Fortress or Feller Armor, which most likely that's what he will do this turn. Just have to see, but... Uh, it's really frustrating that Purge has not showed up yet. I mean, I'm trying to think that maybe I got rid of it, but I know I did not. Um, hmm. I guess I'm just... Having another very unlucky match. Ugh. Well, even with, I mean, without his charge and with no, like, really big buffs, you should not be able to do a whole lot, but still, this is definitely kind of scary. Now it's her turn to do a giant chain. Okay, now he'll be reduced, so he should most likely miss his attack. Really? 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 Come on. Hmm, I'm not sure if he's in range or not. He is. Okay, that's good game.
That's a good game. The only chance I'd have is if both of them were able to kill the goose, which it is pretty likely, especially with Battle Seal. But, um, the thing is that this is not a normal Priority 1 versus 1, because I'd also have to be able to kill the character, which afterwards, which would usually be very easily, or very easy, but not only does he have att attacks and a pretty good weapon that has attacks, but his masks, so, like, if. It would still be hard to win even if I just had one champ companion left against that character. Uh, so, it's definitely not nor uh, like most Power Tier 1 versus 1s. But, anyways, the goose should die here. And <laughs> oh my gosh, now that's kind of ridiculous, really. But, um. Uh. Yeah. I mean, no chains from either of them. Mm. <sighs> if you follow Armor's egg there, it's, uh, yeah. But yeah, I think most likely if the battle, even if I'm able to win the Companions battle, um, it would be in a pretty close fashion, most likely, and that would still most likely give him the win. I mean, just because of that mask, really. The mask just makes such a big difference in matches. Oh, are you kidding me? Right now, Egg, you are not reduced, as far as I know, and you really missed the battle seal. And he is not missing when he does not have Turn and Tide, and Mike has Battle Seal. So I guess Battle Seal doesn't work anymore. Uh. Which one to go for? That's a pretty tough decision. I have to look at him. Ugh, I don't know. Ugh, I'm, I'm gonna do it. This is really risky. Because one of the companions would have to die for it to be worth. But if neither of them die, then it's just really unlikely that I'm going to be able to make a comeback. However, if it does work and one of the companions die, then it could be worth But <laughs> somehow. Grondo just missed action. He just got turned to tide though, so I th think he should be able to kill Bonnie here. He sh he's going to have to get a good chain here. So... <laughs> he did... All three of his auto attacks were the weakest form. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean... <laughs> not only is it strength versus agility, but that all, that alone gives a big chance of criticals. But he's in Turn the Tide, and... Ugh, again. This is going to be my second part of Tier 1 versus 1, and I wrote that the stats really... 
just kind of it's sort of more unlucky really I mean of course he was smart and uh, what he did and my powers did not show up correctly so um, he is playing better than me this match but I really could be borderline winning this match if it wasn't for some of this unlucky stuff that's been happening so uh, I'm definitely trying to not be extremely angry about it but I mean now I, I am sort of just because of ev how much there's been it's it's really been dumb now it really has there's been many things but Anyway, at least this action will finally die this turn. Mm. <laughs> but I think it's most likely going to be too late. How you critical on Bonnie? <sighs> well, he could possibly make up for his mistake if he does the one last relentless, but no, nope, not quite. Well, he just about made up for his mistake, but still doesn't quite make it worth from what happened last turn. However, he is out of Father Armor, so he's not going to be able to save Annie this time. Which means she will be dead next turn. Which means there is still technically hope. I mean, I still don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him. Along with his attacks, good weapon damage, and most of all the mask. But it's still possible at least. Um, I don't know. But it's looking like almost likely down to... From what I see right now, I'll most likely be down to um, my team's gonna kill his team, but only with one companion left. And I just don't know if me and one companion will be enough to take down this character. Hmm, I'm guessing he'd have to have hold the line, or else he would not be doing that. But I can't avoid that. Um, really, another relentless? Another a full chain. A full chain on a strength. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that doesn't usually happen, but again, this is where the not having the right boots on really is bad. But oh well. Um There's really no point even trying to waste that, so I'm guessing you'd have to have no, he doesn't have all the line, so it's interesting. He shouldn't do that, but either way, there, there, and there is a good chance that he. Well, no, he has turned and tied, uh, so I don't know. I think at least one of them. I mean, I know Bonnie is almost for sure dead this turn, but uh. Are you really going to, Pagrana? Come on. Wait, he does have... I literally totally missed it. I literally totally missed that he had that, like... I looked at his character and it 
Wow. Okay, most likely on the second try. Nope. So that's a good game. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, with the unlucky stats, or sort of at the, that one part, and then him just being able to kill my bunny at the start. <sighs> I can't say it was likely that I was going to come back. But, oh well. It's just, I cannot believe. Wait, Relentless or Pelport's Pirate Elusive? He does not have. Hold the line. Oh well, good game. Um. Is there a new trick to that? I mean, there's already been a lot of things that have made me sort of frustrated about this one versus one. But. First of all, me not seeing that. <sighs> And then, of course, the Mega Heal, but that's, I mean, it was already kind of a good game before that. But, I don't, I don't understand. This is just another one of those one versus ones that, you know, it, it, things don't really make sense. You just kind of have to move on. Uh, just go ahead and let him kill my character. I mean, I really wanted to go and stop recording, but... Uh, or really, and go ahead and flee just to save the time. But, um, I don't know, some people don't like that, I guess, so I'll just have to wait here. I mean, yeah, it's of course a good game. Yeah, I mean, there's the literal no way, like, that I could win this at this point. So, it looks like we'll actually lose three for our tier one versus once in a row. I mean, to be fair, in the last two, the... Stats have been sort of iffy, <laughs> but um, and both of them, uh, you know, my opponent served to win. It's just, <sighs> I don't know, it's just the unlucky stats sometimes. Because I can't necessarily say that I would have won both of, um, this one along with the other one if certain things happened, but I think it's definitely possible. <laughs> um, but in this one in particular would have been probably extra hard because frankly it would have just been very hard to kill his character in the first place. Um, just because, once again, I mean that, that mask, it's just really big one versus one. Oh wait, I should have moved my character. Should have moved uh, towards him first. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, it definitely has been a long time since I've seen Davy Jones. I'll go and speed this up real quick by. Triggering her overwatch and his vengeance strike. <laughs> Poor Davy Jones, I mean, the last time he saw me was back when I very, very rarely lost one versus ones. 
Um, I will definitely be losing a lot of one versus ones for now up until I get groove and things, but I mean, I'm definitely not trying to take anything away from Dante. I mean, he is, I've always known that he's been a, a very good privateer. Um, I've always kind of wondered why he's ever been like a PvP or clan person or anything, but how, that's how I used to sort of, you know, notice most good players. It's just I've always recognized him from running into him many times in different PvP realms and whatnot. So, um, uh, yeah, I guess that is the rest of the video. Um, I might have another video tonight. We'll have to see. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the match, and good game, Dante.